All right, everybody, I'm back, and we're going to pick up right where we left off with the last episode. This is Summertime Saga, just in case you didn't read the title on the thumbnail. Summertime Saga, and we're about to go to the locker room. So, here we go. I, th I think it said that was left. Hey, Judith. Is everything okay? Hey, Thomas. I'm just not feeling too well. I might just go home. Oh, so you're not coming to the athletic class? Well, I just, I can't go in the boys' locker room. The boys' locker room? Why would you need to go in the boys' locker room? You mean nobody told you? No. A pipe burst in the girls' locker room and it's closed for repairs. We're sharing the boys' locker room for now. For real? I don't really feel comfortable about it, like the other girls. Well, the class is starting soon, so there's probably not that many people left in there anyway. Yeah, I guess you're right. I can go in with you to make sure you're okay. And I won't look. Okay, I'll follow you then. Uh, all right. Is there anything? I Cow. Oh, I bet that's her locker. I should hit the boys' locker room. Okay, fine. See? It's not too bad. There's only a few people in here. I hope you two remember the rules in regards to being late. And if you're not in uniform and in the courtyard in one minute, it's okay, Annie. We got it. We'll be outside in just a moment. As a student's Union president and official hallway monitor, it's my duty to write infractions to anyone breaking the school guidelines. Look, Judith is not very comfortable in the guy's locker room. She's going to need some extra time to get ready, okay? Is that right, Judith? Well, y yes. What's the matter? Just a little bit insecure around the boys? Or are you inciting disorder and disobeying the rules? It's not, it, it's just that I'm not wearing a bra. Oh, I see. Coming up with excuses to skip class, are we? I hope this girl gets fucked up. <laughs> I, hope, I hope somebody hurts her. <laughs> Your lack of obedience is alarming and I will not allow it. Get dressed immediately or I'm sending you both to detention. Oh, jeez. Thought I was playing a safe version. Hold on. Oh, I'm not. I'm not playing the safe version. I'm playing. That's weird. This would never happen in this school. So. Whoa! <laughs> no. Jesus Christ. Shit. Oh my. This. Improper. <laughs> this is improper and shameful. I'm, I'm sorry. Put your uniforms on and get your asses to class now. I will have to report this incident to Principal Smith, along with your infractions for being late. Now move it. Well, that was odd. That was odd. A little uncomfortable. Okay. So now where do we go? All right. Coach Bridget, what's up? Look who decided to show up. Hi, Coach Bridget. I know I've missed a few training sessions, but I assure you that I'll be ready for regional athletics track. Shut up, you maggot. You are one month behind everyone else, Thomas. I'm not going to let you drag down the team with your lack of commitment. If you can't make the qualified scores, you can forget about your credits at graduating this year. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm sure the qualifiers will be no problem. Oh, yeah? Why don't you show us your 
elite athletic skills by doing 20 push-ups right now, you, you pathetic little twerp. But, <clears throat> there he goes, one, oh, two, I, I can't, three, oh no, he can't even do three. What? Is that all you got? You can't even do three miserable push-ups? I, I'm sorry, ma'am. You better get your ass to the local gym now and start lifting if you want to pass this class. Just stick to Miss Bridget's class. Wait. Just stick to Miss... Bis... Bissett's? Okay. Just stick to Miss Bissett's class where hard work and good grades don't matter. Now get out of my sight. You're never going to make it past the qualifiers. Why do, why do you even bother coming to this class? I could still make it. And you know what? I was thinking, maybe you could help me try... Hold it right there. If by some miracle you manage to make the trials, then come talk to me. Otherwise, you can stop wasting your breath. Okay, whatever. But when I do, you'll have to show me some of your tricks. I'll be at the swimming pool for the next two weeks, training for the 200 meter trials. If you make the team, then come see me. Deal. Ugh, pathetic. Okay, I've unlocked the pool. Now what do I do? Look at her. She's vicious. What do I have on my phone? There's a little trophy there. She needs a stuck up bitch. We know that. I should inform Miss Visit about my return to school. Okay. Debbie told me Diane needed some help. I should get to school. I already did that. I can't be... Wait. He can't have left already? Where is he? Waited for MC to catch up on homework. My, uh, what? My music grades are slipping. Okay. So I need to go to the music class. Hey, it's Miss Business class. I, uh, okay. There you are. Hi, Miss Visit. <laughs> Listen, Thomas, I know you had some personal matters to take care of, and that's why you've been absent lately, but is everything okay? Yeah, I think I'll be okay. You're not the only one with a bit behind. You're not the only one a bit behind, you know. It's definitely the hardest class I have, I think. Well, if you ever need anything, let me know. Thanks, Miss Visit. Oh, that reminds me. I'm implementing a new learning opportunity for those trying to catch up. Oh, yeah? It'll be a bit more one on one type of learning, and I'm hoping it will energize students. Oh, I, I see. Why don't you take your seat, and I'll be discussing it in front of the class. Okay. Okay. Miss Bizet had an announcement that day. She planned on rewarding the student who showed up. Wait. She planned on rewarding the student who showed the most improvement in class after the final quiz. She even offered private tutoring to anyone that was interested. Spent the whole day doing stuff till the bell rang. And then, ah, I forgot how much French class makes me sleepy. It was a struggle to focus on the lesson. But I always count on my classmates to keep me awake. They've been picking on me lately. Uh, probably because I came back and now I'm the center of attention. Don't get me wrong, though. I could stand my ground. Oh, <laughs> but I guess this is just how school goes. Well, at least the day is over and I can go home now. Oh, and before you all leave, any students interested in after-school tutoring sessions, come talk to me in my office or tomorrow in class. Au revoir. Oh, it's Eve. Hey, welcome back. Hey, Eve. Wow, I really like your new hair color. <laughs> yeah. I, I was a little worried I couldn't pull it off. Oh, you could definitely pull it off. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. At least I got some friends, you know? There's some people picking on me, but I, there, there's an, at least one nice teacher and a couple nice students. Sorry to hear about your dad. I know it's rough. Yeah. If you ever need to talk or anything, nah, it's really nice of you to offer, but I'm okay. I'm just trying not to think about it. Focus on getting back into the swing of things, you know? 
Yeah, believe me, Thomas. I get it. Oh, I bet her dad died or mom or something. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling down or whatever, I take my drawing pad and I sit by this big fountain over at the park. Oh, yeah? It's so peaceful there, especially in the evenings. Sounds nice. It is. You should come and check it out sometime. All right, maybe I will. Cool. All right. Okay, I need to go. Where do I need to go? Uh, where's Diane's friend? That's Mia's house. Oh, let's see. I didn't know the first thing about gardening, but it was nice to see Diane. I always liked her when I was a kid. She was just a fun person to be around, kind-hearted and supportive, a great sense of humor and full of warmth. I really hope I don't disappoint her. Well, there's that handsome young man. You've grown so much, I hardly recognized you at the funeral. <laughs> Hi, Diane. Wow, you look so much like Debbie. Oh, how come? I'm not nearly as pretty as Debbie. Well, I think you look great, Diane. Oh, aren't you a little charmer? You here to do some work for me? I guess Debbie told you that I'm looking for someone to help me this summer. Yeah, she told me to come see you. I could definitely use the money for tuition. Wonderful. So are we in college? Money for tuition. Or maybe he's getting ready to go to college? I don't know. Everybody's 18, though. That's, that's all I know. Oh, wonderful. Uh, I was hoping to get started. I was hoping to get you started today, but I'm afraid I ran into a problem. My shovel finally quit on me. Oh, yeah, that looks pretty bad. We may have to wait until I can replace it. I'm sorry, Thomas. It's okay, Diane. Is there any way we could continue to work without it? Well, we can't really dig up the garden without a shovel, can we? I'll just have to pick a new one up next time I'm at the store. Unless, unless, you wouldn't happen to have one at home. Hmm. We might have a shovel in our garage. There's a shovel. Boom. Hey, this should work. It'll be nice to have some money for a change. <clears throat> uh oh. Why is she always walking around in her underwear? I don't. I don't understand. What are you doing with that shovel? Uh, I'm taking it to Diane's house. I'm going to be working for it this summer. Diane gave you a job. She's never offered me any work. Well, it's physical labor in her garden. Uh, she probably just assumed you wouldn't be interested. <clears throat> in this heat? Yeah, no way. Screw that. What are you doing in the garage? You never come out here. I need some batteries. Don't we still have some out here? Hmm. Yeah, I think so. Try that box uh, on the bottom shelf there. Haha. <laughs> Thumbnails. Thumbnails, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Holy crap. What do you need so many for? None of your business, loser. Just take your shovel and beat it. <laughs> Whatever. Let's go back out here to Diane. Look what I got you. A shovel. That fits in a backpack. Here it is. Whoa, that's wonderful. See, you've been a big help already. All right, before you start, I'll have to show you what to do. Okay. Make sure you only keep the vegetables that are long and hard. Take out everything else, especially those pesky rats and bugs. Got it? Okay, got it. You should really take all the money I'm paying you to the bank, too, when you're done. That's, that's your decision, though. Hmm, sure. I guess I could do that. All right, handsome, let's get to work. Smoochies. Okay. Mini game unlocked. Gardening. I need money, so we're going to play this mini game. We, we need to get some money in the bank. Look at those. Look at those eggplants. Okay. Clean the garden. Let's see. Uh, boom. 
Boom. That's not long and hard. Boom. Oh, yeah. Diane went to lie down as I began digging up her garden. It was so hot outside, and there were so many weeds and bugs. I gripped my teeth and set myself to the task. I hope she's planning to pay me well for all this physical labor. Physical labor really never pays well. Look at her. As I worked, I noticed Diane was watching me intently. I suppose she was just trying to make sure I did a good job. We exchanged a few words here and there, but mostly just small talk. Her eyes seemed fixed upon me. Oh, wow. My garden looks absolutely gorgeous, Thomas. Yeah, I had to get rid of a lot of stuff. Just look at that big, hard cucumber. Why do you only want vegetables that are long and hard? I, uh, uh, well, you see they, um, do they sell better or something? Yes, that's exactly it. They sell better. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess I have a lot to learn about vegetables. <laughs> well, don't you worry, Thomas. I can teach you everything there is to know about gardening. How did you get into this stuff, anyway? Oh, I've always had a bit of a green thumb. Even when I was a kid. Really? You betcha. You know, I used to dream about owning a farm one day. Like, a for real farm with fields of crops and animals? That's right. I wanted my whole... That's right. I wanted the whole nine yards. You should totally do that, Diane. I'd help you. <laughs> well, thanks, Thomas. I'm afraid it's not as easy as that. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Thanks for your help today. Why didn't you? Why don't you come back tomorrow, and we'll continue where we left off. All right. I'll see you tomorrow then. And look through the telescope at stuff. Hmm, she must be sleeping. There he is, playing games. What the? Okay. What is she doing? <laughs> Okie dokie. She's humping her teddy bear? Wow. That's really hot. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Oh no, holy crap. I think she just got caught. Her mom must be furious. She's always so strict with her. That's the girl that wants to study with us. We're going to have to pay her a visit. <laughs> and what is this? Oh boy. Oh, this is this is the same house. I get what's going on. I have two neighbors that I can look at over here. Uh, uh, my friend's house, and I think maybe his mom, I don't know. And then, uh, this other girl, this other friend and her parents. Oh, boy. Looks like Helen is mad at him. What did he do? <laughs> Harold always looks so sad. Uh, that is sad. That is sad. Man, and I can't even fix my computer and play on it or anything. I guess it's bedtime. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We'll be back with more soon. Bye-bye.